and call you cute. Shit, who spot this shit? Uh, it's just a friend of mine. I've been here a couple days. Mm -hmm. Shit, let's get the business, man. Lift up your shirt. Matter of fact, take that shit off. Turn around. Gonna be beefing. First of all, if you was beefing at a wave, you should beefing at their wave. Why would you bring to somebody else's club? That's sad. It's upsetting me in my home, girl. Cause we feel like, well, damn, if you can't go to better no chase, what the hell? Cause you got. What's going on, world? I am Wesley from A Connection TV, the network, the one channel on YouTube, where we actually adopt similar connections to spot our differences. And I am here with the one and only <laughs> Mr. Tony. How you doing? What's going on? <laughs> why, you, why you laughing? Because um, I've been here for some time now, um, and we've just been uh, shooting the shit. And so um, the whole process and getting this ready and, and together has me laughing because I'm looking at the camera, but I see these big ass, huge, uh, you know, white covered lights flashing <laughs> on us. And y'all know me, I'm very simple with my uh, videography. I, I I do simple things, but this man got a whole production set up and uh, moving <laughs> sets around and got this new lens and all this extra stuff on the camera. Yeah. But you know, if you came to my spot, of course, you know, this is what I do, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you learned something new, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, he told me about the lens. Well, I already had the lens, but right. I just never used it because I don't really use. Oh, well, okay. So just so you guys know, we have I have a, a TI five Rebel, and um, at the time when I got it, it was just a TI three. Like a lot of people use the three, uh, but I have a five, and I got two lenses. One is a fifty eight millimeter, um, and the other one is that one. What you have is what the fifty. That's the fifty. Yeah. yeah, so I have two, but the 58 goes in and out. You know, you can turn it to zoom in and zoom out. Um, but this one is like fixed. The only thing you can really do is just focus. Right. Um, so I never really use it because when you put it in, it's just all up in my grill. But I like, I mean, I like what it's doing yeah. for this, you know. I showed you how to set it up. So I bet you all of his videos from now on are going to have his look. Maybe. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. But. How have you been, sir? I'm good, man. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, just, just in the game, working hard, trying to make it happen. Okay. So, for those of you that don't know uh, where he's from, can you let the world know where you're from or where they might have seen you? Let me say. Oh, work-wise, okay. Um, thought you were saying, yeah, I'm from Atlanta. Right. That's what we're going from. Right. But um, work-wise, some people may have seen me um, on TV um, or YouTube, Free Fall the web series, but now officially uh, the TV show. Okay, congratulations, right? Congratulations, congratulations. Here we go. So, um, a lot of you guys know that for a short time, a while, I followed uh, Free Fall heavily, and then well, now we're on season... Season three. Three, okay. He lost track. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, I love all of my boys from Free Fall. I know all of them collectively, except for one. Um, but I love them all and I follow them all and all love, right? All love. But, uh, you know, and I already had this conversation with him and I don't know if I had this conversation with him or not, but, um, I fell off for season two because season two just, it veered in a whole different, different direction for me, yeah. for me. Um, you know, it's like. If I had to say it like this, you know, uh, season one was a white pair of pants and season two is a black pair of pants. Like completely, you know, day and night, complete contrast. So, well, I didn't. I tried to follow it. Tried. Yes. I tried. Okay. I went in a couple episodes. You know, they introduced the, the cutie with the, with the muscles, Isaiah. And so I tried, I was like, okay, he's eye candy. But then I'm like, why are they beating him up and interrogating him? And then I'm like, okay, now there's some undercover CI shit. What the hell? Right, right. And so I'm like, what's going on? And then his character is over here uh, <laughs> collecting prostitutes and porn stars off the street. And uh, they beat, the, their booties was bloody and, and getting blood all, you know, getting raped and shit. So I was, I was confused. He's just got into the, just the gutter aspects of it. But, um... It, it did go inside a different route. I think it was just a, um, it was a bigger production. Um, the second season brought in a lot more uh, characters, a lot more um, uh, uh, diversity and things like that. So mm -hmm. we had a lot of um, 
Got some white people. people. That's what we're trying to say, so, right? Yeah, it was just diverse, and just the production value got a little bit bigger um, because we were just trying to reach a different audience and just expand a little bit, really. But like, um, it's one of those things you gotta really, you gotta focus and pay attention. If, I was if you trying. go back and you watch it again, he I says bet. that all the time. I'm telling you, I He's, bet. He's like, that. oh, okay, I get it, I get it, because honestly, I had to do that myself. Yeah, yeah. He he tells me to do that. He's like, "Well, did you watch it from the beginning?" No, I yeah. didn't. I tried, but then it was so dark and like, you know, I, it reminded me of. Um, for those of you that are into animation, I don't know if you're into animation. Oh, I love animation. But, um, Dragon Ball Z, come on. But uh, it reminded me of the animated version of Batman, and the animated version of Batman is very playful. He's very agile. It's colorful, but when you get into the series, The Dark Knight, it, it switches everything up and it's really, really dark, and, mm. and that's where you got the Joker from, and we all know that, you know, that I was an you. amazing Joker, so it was it was really like Bobby and Whitney for me. It definitely, but, it definitely changed a, a nice amount. Um, the good thing about, like, now we're inside th season three, season three goes back to the roots of season one. Okay. Um, it just focuses on, like, the, the main uh, nine guys and mainly our interaction. You have a few new characters and things of that sort, okay. relationships and stuff like that, okay. which is up, but it's really close to what you fell in love with the first time, so. Okay. So, you know, so you may want to check it out again and see what we got to offer there. Yeah, definitely do that. Yeah. I, I, gotta, I gotta look at it too, because you know, I, I haven't, but I'm gonna, right. I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm gonna look at it too. I enjoyed it, <laughs> I enjoyed season two because Cause my character got to evolve. Like there was a lot. He was of, raping uh, people. No, no, no. Was, I, I wasn't raping people. Well, no, you know, but I was pimping. There's a difference. Right. So yeah, yeah. Easy, yeah. I'm telling you. Right. And he, yeah, and he was doing it and doing it well. But it was just, it was, it's very interesting. Yeah. But definitely, uh, what I will say is that the quality of Freefall uh, for any YouTube uh, show is is bar none. Like completely up there. Uh, grade A. So. Um, and it's a beautiful cast and an eclectic cast. So definitely get into Freefall if you have not yet gotten into Freefall. Start from season one, yeah. go to season two, and now we're at season three. How many episodes? Um, season three. Season three, we only have, uh, there's four out right now. Okay. Four out right okay. now. But I think it's going to be a total of ten. Um, and you can always check it out on uh, BOA TV 360. Totally different network from YouTube. You feel me? So okay, that's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> so I need you to let the world know what you're currently working on, um, some of the projects that you got going okay. on, and uh, yeah, this is. A, I think this is a good video for all of you guys out there that are into acting, that want to do acting, that want to find out about acting. We did kind of like a, a, a impromptu video before this over the via Skype, and you it was know, like two years ago. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. So, <laughs> we wanted to give you a refresher, HD version, right? Yeah. So, yeah, explain to the people what you're working on now and, you know, your transition into acting. Well, um, I do a, little, a lot more than acting. I'm a um, filmmaker, too, so okay. explains this whole setup. <laughs> right. Now, but filmmaker as well, um, producer and things of that sort. Right now, I have a, um, a film project that we're, we should be releasing. We've released a couple um, parts of it online on YouTube right now. It's called Queen, the film. Um, the director of that is uh, Lyric London. Um, you may have known know him. He, he's really big on YouTube. He's a dancer, um, but he's also super creative. Um, and this project is about uh, five friends, well, a couple different friends. They go through ins and out of their relationship, um, start a business together, and basically you see that explode in their faces and stuff like that. So, but uh, it's a short film and um, it's super dope. So, yeah, I'm working on that right now. Um, we're gonna submit that inside a couple film festivals and stuff like that. <coughs> so, yeah. Okay, and then you were, well, before we get to the other amazing thing that you did uh, recently, um, two, two questions. Okay. What was the one thing that you learned that was really like a powerful learning curve for you during that, making that process uh, for Queen? Um, not being in front of the camera and being really behind the camera and just the production side, just really uh, learning how to make sure that the look is exactly what you want, you know what I mean? Because it's really hard for, you know, independent filmmakers, not on a big budget, because you can do great projects not on a big budget, you know what I mean? But being able to uh, 
find a great quality look in working with other people. You know what I mean? Really working with a good team. We have a small, we had a small crew. You know. Okay. Um, so I just learned how to just bring all of that together and you know work with people's schedules. Because when you do independent stuff, you know the page not really there, but you know find a cast that's uh, devoted. Right. You know I mean? so, okay. So what was that uh, favorite moment for you during the the making? Of this film, man, I would say um, there's a part that's not out yet, or what have you, because there's two parts that are out on YouTube, and then the final part, which is the more um, intense part, was the monologues. And I would say, really, hearing those actors give those uh, the emotions for those monologues, man, it was, it was crazy. Okay. To really be on that side and be able to help coach that, you know what I mean. That was that was probably my favorite part. So how do you how do you get a crew like that together if you're independent and trying to do you do posters on Craigslist or like what do you, you do? You can, but for me it's more so I I already have uh, people, um, friends and things of that sort, or um, people in the industry that I already work with who I trust. So you know all you have to do is uh, if you have a camera. I always say just pick it up and, and try to film something, shoot something, and call friends and things of that sort. Other people that are into it. You know yeah. I mean? Like, I've been trying to get him inside a film for a while. So no, we're, yeah, right, we're working on he it. Hasn't. Nah, he I've been. Lies that's not true. That's not true. Tales. That's not lies true. And fairy We've been talking tales. about it for a minute. So. I don't know what he's I'm writing something right now. Right. He'll be in it. Right. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll wait on that, right? But no, so you recently did a film with some. Some no, known actors? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, recently worked on a project. Can't talk too much about it because of um, contracts and things of that sort. Ah, um, so he's big leagues, right? No, mm -hmm. I'm just not, you know. I'm still <laughs> I'm still hustling out there. Audition. I'm a professional auditioner. That's what I call it. That means I audition. They tell me no. They tell me no. They tell me no. Then they tell me yes. But I'm working on this. Um, I can't really talk too much about it. It's, uh, it's called Products of the American Ghetto. Um, starring Robin Givens, um, Derry Henson, you know, from Soul Food, um, Keith Robinson from um, uh, Dream Girls. Um, who else is in it? Mama D, um, Young Jock, me. <laughs> so, but um, definitely a dope film. It's like kind of like dope, um, like horror. Dope, no, dope. Film. Oh, no, no, okay. Dope. Dope film. Yeah. Right. I definitely. A, I I heard a dope. So I dope. But okay, Damn, you know, don't I'm like Robin Gibbons. I'm, 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 like, well, I'm southern, so you know, yeah, it's that country that's coming out. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> but yeah, it's but no, it, sounds, it, was, it was a dope project. Yeah, it sounds know. like a, an interesting cast, right. Mama D. That's that's interesting. Yeah, she she had. <laughs> but uh, but so, that comes out next year. I can't really talk too much about right. it. Right. But you know, okay. Well, that's what's up. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah. So you live in the A. And you're an actor, right, right. and you're a professional auditioner. <laughs> auditioner, that's what shit. Right, right, right. Okay. You know, like, um, so, why Atlanta? Is Atlanta the place to live for that, or you know, wouldn't you wouldn't you say you should go to LA? Like, why why Atlanta? Well, the craziest thing, um, I I studied in LA. I went to school out there, um, the American Musical and Dramatic Academy. Um, went to school out there. Lived in LA for about four years. It's tough. It's tough for a brother. Now I'm, I'm just just calling it how it is. But Atlanta is is so basically you said it was Mecca. So you're saying it's tough for black people. Period. In my opinion, yes. Okay. Okay. It's, it's hard, you know, because you have the breakdowns that will come out, and if Caucasian, Caucasian, Caucasian um, may have other, so that opens it for black, Hispanic. That's everybody else. You feel me? Okay. So, it's really tough out there. I said I'm gonna go back to LA when they call me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Atlanta is kind of like the uh, land of the free for you know uh, uh, people of uh, color to definitely do your thing. There's a lot of entrepreneurs uh, growing out true, here. There's true, a lot true. of uh, businesses opening out here. A lot of film studios are coming out here. You got That's Tyler true. Perry Studios. You got the amazing. The Walking Dead AMC films out here, so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so mm -hmm. there's a lot happening in Atlanta. So why do you think that is, though? Why do you think Atlanta um, is just that place? Well, it's cheap to shoot out here. It's cheap to shoot out here, and you can get locations for a lower cost. Is the taxes are not there, um, so it's really good, especially right now, because it's like to be a uh, a big fish. 
in a um, in a little pond because a lot of people are moving out here. But if you if you get your your chops in now, meet the right people, the casting directors and things of that sort, you're good to go. You know, um, when I moved out here, I really didn't know. I really didn't know. You know, when I moved back to Atlanta from L.A., but when I started to audition professional auditioning, I was like, wow, okay. I'm actually auditioning for mainstream stuff. Like, the first time that I was actually on mainstream TV was uh, on BET, Let's Stay Together. Um, and that was an amazing experience for me. You know, yeah. in LA, I would never got that. I got to work with some cool people, Kyla Pratt, you know, um, uh, Ron Rico, you feel me? So, to have those experience in my hometown, mm -hmm. you can't beat that. Okay, okay. okay. So being so popular and being the celebrity that you are and starring in these movies with Robin Givens and Young Jock and, you know, living the life and all of that, is, has it been very difficult for you to, you know, just be regular outside? Well, I'm definitely very regular because, you know, it's, it, it hasn't hit yet, you feel me? None of that has, you know, giving me like a crazy boost where it's like, oh wow, he, he's he's made it. Cause I'm still struggling. I'm still struggling to get out there. That's why I say professional auditioner, you know. And at the end of the day, I'm here with my family and they keep me so humble. Yeah. You know, um, so none of that, it, it goes nowhere. Like not to my head or anything because I'm not there yet. Do you I'm think that yet. you're anchored right now? So what I mean by that, if someone were to give you a call today and say, we want you to shoot for a movie in Korea. Would you just uproot and go to do it? Or do you think you're anchored here? Oh, no, I will go. Oh. If I got the opportunity, I will go. You oh, know? Right. I just shot a film where uh, I was just networking with someone. And it was, I think I went down, yeah, I went down to Florida. You know, and then shot so me out, I don't but, care. Okay. No, no, it was, it was real quick. It was real quick and it was just, right. I couldn't, no, it was like, it was like on the Florida, Georgia, point right there like you all the way over there you see this right. you see how he's trying to set me up all right put okay. it over there. all right okay <laughs> right mm -hmm. but he want me to be in somebody's movie right no, you're uh -huh. gonna be inside one of my films that's uh -huh. a different uh -huh. uh -huh. right okay well no that's what's up that's what's up that's that's cool you know sometimes i think about it myself like if i were to just somebody were to just call me and they'd be like okay well we need you to come here mm -hmm. am i well, number one, am I in a position to just uproot and leave, and or would I? Number two, would I? So it's always interesting to you know to well, think about that. It's one of those things you can't be afraid. You can't be afraid to just move and go. You feel me? Because especially inside this industry, acting and um, just artistry, period, you gotta take risk. If you don't, people who are safe, you're not gonna get nowhere. So, so I'm gonna go out on a limb here and uh, go with go I'll go go far with what you just said. I'm gonna grab what you said and run with it, right? Okay, you and, and I'm gonna see you, see where your mind is. So you say you gotta take risks, okay. right? What yeah. kind of risk do you think? Like if somebody, if a major producer, let's say Brock Hammer, uh came up to you and was like, um, in order for you to be in this um. film, <laughs> we want you to bleach your skin. <laughs> okay. Would you like, would you like? I don't, well, see, it depends for me. Um, something like that, that's just like gonna completely physical, change me. Physical changes. Is this going like, to change me forever? Yeah. Oh no. Okay. So Maybe not those kind of risks, like plastic surgery. Would you ever think of getting plastic surgery? No. No. no okay. No, 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 no. Okay. So not that no, kind no, of risk. No. 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 Okay. If, if if God didn't give it to me, I don't want it. All right. <laughs> All right. He said that. So, okay. It's, it's it's that's. So would you would you consider yourself to be the type of actor that will go like the extra mile or the extra ten miles to like gain five hundred pounds to play an obese guy and then have to lose all that weight again? Like you know how they have? Because I think Beyonce, not to say that Beyonce is like uh, an Oscar actress or anything like that, but uh, I think she's very talented. So yeah, she, no, she people. is. No, she is talented. You know, we already know that. Right. Five hundred million. She's talented. We get that. But the actress. She I went know. through the uh, process of gaining weight mm -hmm. um, to be on a movie and then drastically losing the weight. Like a lot of people do that. Yeah. Um, who was uh, Matthew McConaughey did that, That's and true. he got like really like skinny. Fifty Cent did it. Got really skinny to play a mm -hmm. role. Um, 
do you think that you would allow your physical to fluctuate that yeah. way for a row? I, w I would definitely, if, if it called for it, because the thing is, it's not mine. If I, if someone's, if I get a part, you know, it's not my place to judge that character. If that character is 150 pounds to 300 pounds, that's that character. So I want to be able to give that best performance that I can. So at the end of the day, yes, I would definitely. Now it's hard. I've been trying to gain pound weight for a long time. It's hard out there for a skinny brother. I'm telling you, I eat, but it's just not. It's not helping. It's not working. It's, it's not so would you play any it. role? Are you that kind of actor that you know, will definitely act and play any role? Like, would you, would you play a child molester? Would you play a bank robber? Would you it's play? It's funny that you say that because you're a child molester. No, no, I'm no, but. <laughs> But I'm, I'm just saying, saying but, cause you know, honestly, Freefall has challenged me completely out of my comfort zone, bruh. Completely, none of that stuff is even close. You, so to, you've to never been home. dry butt raped or anything like that? No, 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 no. And that was a very <laughs> fair. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing was, with him, but I'm but, not. But I am. But I'm not. But go ahead, right? <laughs> no, cause no, that, that, he, yeah, go ahead. And 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 Freefall. Somebody got dry butt break. Wasn't it you that got dry no, no, butt break? No, that was that was Nico. That was that was the one that played played opposite me. You know, me. Oh, you, I, was, you was about to get raped. No, well, I I, I was inside a, a part where I had to give up my body to several people. Um, rape, right? Isn't that rape? That's not rape because you're doing it. Oh, you're doing you, it on your own. Oh, wheel. right. Yeah, he did. He said he wanted it. My character was coked up at the time, so that's what that was. You uh huh. Know? Like the boxer said, he was coked up when he did the dog pound video. <laughs> but in all yeah, actuality, he, say, yeah. he ended up being. I'm coming. He came right. out the closet. He but anyway, that's neither here nor there. But okay. Yeah, but I'm saying like, I, even with that show, like I've challenged myself so much, so because it's like, honestly, if you would have asked me um, five years ago to do those things. I don't know that I would have. Mm. You feel me? Because mm. um, it's real tough. It's real tough. You know, to, to to put yourself out there. And then when when I meet people and fans of uh, Freefall, they assume that I'm that guy. Right. You know. So it's really tough fan. once you put yourself really in those zones. I you yeah. know I do have to admit though, he's a, he's a nice guy, right? He's got the southern accent and all that. A bit cocky, but you 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 get that vibe, right? But no, he's a good guy, right? I would have to say, you know, seeing you out in public sometimes, I'm like, yeah, that's that's Ray. That's 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 him. I see it. I see it. The way you you know, you be like, you know, yeah. I got a, I got swag. I would say that, you uh -huh. know, that th th those you got to I play this guy, so yeah, I can give off pieces of that. Okay. But at the end of the day, like, so far from my personality, you know that. So, mm. um, right. <laughs> no, but no, he's a he's a cool guy. And if you guys don't follow him, you need to follow him on Instagram. His information is below. If you guys heard of the free fall or, um, you know, didn't know that season three was out, definitely um, get into that show. It is an amazing show. It's kind of like what Quirr spoke was for people of my generation, because I'm kind of like up there. He's like a little baby, he's like 21. Uh, people of my generation were, you know, running to the TV to watch Quirr spoke. I could see, you know, Freefall being that Quirr spoke for, well, anybody, but mainly for uh, black people to watch because um, we didn't really have, well, I know I didn't growing up have something where I could watch and be like, oh, he looks just like me, and right. oh, he feels what I feel, and mm -hmm. oh, he's going through what I'm going through, you know? So, um, uh, I, I definitely appreciate shows like Chris Folk, though. It's, it's, it's an amazing show, but Free Fall is definitely awesome, um, and you, you, if you're very curious about, you know, the film world and acting and stuff like that, hit him up on his Instagram, ask him questions, he'll definitely hit you up. And, and let you know, right? Or am yeah, I just putting no, no, your business no, no. out there? I'm very much, I'm very much also like that. I will uh, definitely give you feedback because you know um, we have to continue making moves and making films um, that represent us. You know, um, in a lot of ways. So, you know, are you I, are you happy where uh, television and cinema media is right now, or I, do you think we still have a long way to go? Well, in a lot of ways, we have a long, long way to go, but I feel like it, it's moving in the right direction. 
with a lot of shows out there, you know, that are giving people uh, opportunities to, you know, just tell their stories. Okay. You feel me? Okay. And that's the biggest thing. Like, if you have a story to tell, why not put it out there? Okay. Why, why, uh, why hide um, from, from what you visually see? Put it out there. Makes sense. No so I have three random ass questions. Three random ass questions. Random oh, ass man. questions, right? Number one, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini. Okay. Number two, what's your favorite color? Green. Okay. And number three, what is your favorite show on TV right now? Favorite show on TV right now? Um, I'm gonna say Gotham. Interest. In interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why Gotham? I haven't been able to get into it. <laughs> Gotham is dope. It's super dope. Um, because I love comic books and things of that sort. Period. So you know, I love superhero shows. Period. Like like Fat Flash and things of that. Sort. What do you know about? Oh, you watch Flash? Yeah. You watch Flash? Of course. Oh, okay. Now Flash now, now, now is the best. Talking. Flash is the best out of all of the superhero shows right now. I think Flash I is the best. best. But it's because really the acting is just phenomenal on Flash. Maybe mm. it's, I don't watch Gotham. Mm. Maybe mm. I don't. No, the acting is so on point. Like you really, really believe like on Gotham. Yeah. Really? My favorite character is probably I really like the Penguin. Okay. Uh, he's super dope. Okay. You know, um, interesting. interesting. Yeah. Do you like Supergirl? I saw um, the first episode and I thought it was dope. I haven't seen anything else. But yeah, that's everybody's what telling me I need to watch Supergirl, but I couldn't get past the first episode. It, it just seemed really campy and really like, um, what's that show with uh, Clueless? It seemed really clueless to me. Um, you gotta give. You gotta have to give a show more than that so they can. Rip I know, you up. You know but you, you know, it's like just watch the first. The first episode, the first episode you should be. It's like okay. It's like walking into your into the kitchen. You know, mom's cooking, right? Uh -huh. What brings you in is the aroma, the smell. Okay. I didn't smell anything when I watched that motherfucking episode. See, to the, bring me into the kitchen to see, sit my ass at the same table. time. Yeah, mama, she started. She just was seasoning the chicken. You know what I mean? She just was seasoning the chicken. You but, gotta actually put that thing inside the stove. You gotta put it, open it up, right. put it inside the stove, right. turn it on. I get, you right. know, or, or you, you gotta smit, you know, cook it, it first. It was let some, the thing cook. The one seasoning that was on the show was uh, Makai Brooks. He hot. But then when I saw him, he ain't got no damn facial hair. He looks weird. Like black men, you look weird without a mustache and a goatee. He looks so, like, a, um, like a ball monkey. Yeah. 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 So I was kind of, I was kind of off, and then I was like, okay, well, it's still Makai. He's great. Okay, cool. And I was like, where they going with this girl? Who is this girl? Never seen her before. I was like, all right. And but then I don't know. I, I fell off. But everybody's mm -hmm. telling me I should get back on because they say that the shit was hot. But Flash is everything. The Arrow is cool. I don't like Arrow. Heroes Reborn. And mm -hmm. so you don't like Arrow? It's okay. It's okay. It's just that I want you to have some type of powers or something. You gotta do. But that's why all the people coming to the show now have powers. Because he didn't like. That. And he never like, did. You know, but I he know, did but Justice like, League regularly. And like, he never was one of my favorites. Like right, I feel you. Both, so. I feel you. I don't know why they created his show, but I feel you. But we got the Flash now. Um, are you looking forward to Batman versus uh, Superman? I do want to see that. Really, you think it's gonna be hot? I feel like it's going to be really good. Do you want to see that good. over the new Avengers? Ooh. Let's see where his oh. alliance lies. <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm going to have to stick with, uh, ooh. That's tough. That's really, really It's tough. not really. No, the I Avengers is. is better. But the thing is, it's kind of hard because this is something completely different. And I love all the Batmans. So, oh, never mind. We done. This video done. So I, I told him I like Gotham. So what, what you said? Come right, on, but man. Batman's not even on fucking Gotham. He's okay. young, and what? we're dealing with people that, at, and and in real comic book world, they're actually at a decent age. But these, they brought those. They took those same characters and put them all the way back in Batman's childhood. I don't get it. I'm lost. I don't. But get that's it. why it's so dope because you get the pre story, then you start really like, oh wow, oh wow. You feel me? Yeah, it's it's really good. Then they got um. They got uh, the Riddler. That's who I would love to play. Yeah. I could see it all in him. I could. Yeah, mm -hmm. I could totally kill that character. You know, I like. I like. Um, Before we started just introducing extra things. Okay. So this is completely like your your site. Like it's this not is ran my, through a third party. No, this um, is your site launched by you. It's launched by me, created by. Me. And you have actual design. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.
Sonic Beats. Bright lights in the 